Hey guys, welcome to the 128th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to begin our second project. And now that we know how to paint and draw using C Sharp, we're basically going to be creating um, our own paint application similar to Microsoft Paint. So for this tutorial, you're going to need to have a panel, a uh, tool strip with a label and a text box on it. And this is basically just so that the user will be able to choose how thick their pen is. So if they want to make it one, then it'll just be one pixel thick. And basically, by the end of this tutorial, we're going to have an application that will allow us to click and hold. And when we hold down and move our mouse, it'll draw a line. Now, there are a couple different ways you can do this. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the first way, which isn't as good as the second way, but it's still not too bad. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is select your panel, go over to the events, and go down to uh, mouse down. And what mouse down is, is it's basically whenever the user holds their mouse down or just clicks it down. So what we're going to be doing is creating a bool and setting that bool equal to true when the user has their mouse down. But then when the user releases their mouse, um, it's going to be set equal to false. And then when the user moves their mouse, we're going to check to see if that bool is true. And it will be only true if the user has their mouse down. And then if the user has their mouse down according to that bool, then we will paint. So we're just going to go up here and create a new bool. I'll just call it can paint. And we'll set it equal to false. And then when the user holds their mouse down, we're going to set that bool equal to true. So we're just going to say can paint equals true. And now we're going to want to set it equal to false when the user picks their mouse up. So we're just going to say mouse up. And we're just going to say can paint equals false. All right, so now that we have that all set, now we're going to check to see when the user moves their mouse. So with our panel selected again, just go over to the events and double click on mouse move. All right, so now before we even start painting, we're going to check to see if the user has their mouse down. So we're going to say if can paint then we will actually be painting. Now before we can paint, we have to create graphics to paint on. And we're actually going to be creating these graphics up here so that we can use them in other methods. Now in this tutorial, we're only going to need to be using our graphics in this method right here. But in following tutorials, we're going to use graphics in multiple methods. So instead of creating graphics, like the same graphics over and over again, we're just going to use the same one. So we're just going to go up here and say graphics. I'll say it, call it G, and we can't set it equal to panel 1 up here, so we're going to set it equal to panel 1 inside of the constructor of our um, class right here. So we're just going to say G equals panel 1 dot create graphics. Alright, so now graphics is equal to, or G is equal to panel 1 dot create graphics because it will do this as soon as the form is created. Alright, so first thing that we're going to want to do is create a brush to paint with. So we're just going to say solid brush s equals a new solid brush. And I'm just going to have the color be black for right now, but it really doesn't matter. You can set it equal to anything. In a few tutorials from now, we're going to be selecting or choosing different colors or allow the user to do that. So for right now, just set it equal to something. Now we're actually going to be um, drawing. So we're going to draw a circle every time that the user moves their mouse. So just a little circle so that when the user moves their mouse a lot, it'll look like a line. So we're just going to say g.fill ellipse. And then we're just going to want to pass our brush through here, which is S. And now every other time in the drawing tutorials when we were um, like drawing circles or something, uh, we would always choose a location. Well, what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is have the circle appear at the user's cursor. So in order to get the position of the user's cursor, we're going to be using this mount mouse event arcs class. So since it's called E, we can just do E dot oops, we can do E dot X. And this will get the X coordinate of the mouse. So then we're just going to do E dot Y for this as well. So now with these two combined, it basically just gets the coordinates of the cursor. So now it'll create a small circle at the coordinates of the cursor. And for the width, we're going to have it be whatever pen size the user selects. So we're just going to say convert dot 2 into 32. Um, tool strip text box 1 dot text. And we're going to do the same thing for the height. 
So it'll be a circle. All right. So now that's all that we need for this tutorial. So let's debug and check to see if this works. So before we can even begin painting, we have to choose a pen size. I'll just put this two for right now. So now when we click and hold down our mouse, it should begin drawing because we'll set the bool can paint equal to true. And then it will check to see if it can paint. And since it can, it'll create a little circle each time you move your mouse. So we click and hold and draw. And as you can see, it makes a line. But this line is very broken up, and if you move your mouse too quickly, it doesn't really look like a line anymore. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you a much better way of drawing lines. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.